You know, Joel Klein, who had become chancellor, one of his first things he did was he helped KIPP start to grow. We, he opened up an old district office building in Harlem. Uh, it was the first time they'd given administrative space to be used by kids, and it was like, you know, empty. The building was virtually empty, and, and Joel really took the, had the political will to, to make that happen. Uh, and he also sent out a call to others, come to New York, we want to make New York the absolute best place for the growth of high-performing charters in the country. Uh, and, you know, between Joel and, 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 and Mayor Bloomberg, they were very, very committed to this idea. And so they asked lots of folks to grow here. They asked Uncommon to, to, to grow here, and they asked Achievement First to grow here. And Daisha, being the, the, the incredible partner that she is, she calls Norman and, and I to say, hey, like, you know, do you guys have any, you know, is there any, you know, are you, are you cool? Like, like, you know, like, if, if I grow in New York. And, it was like one of those things, like, it was nice to ask, like, but we were like, of course, like, there's so many kids, like, there are 1.1 million, kids. Like, I think that's the thing that gets lost in this whole discussion, right? There are 1.1 million, you know, kids in the New York City public schools, there's, you know, 13 million low-income kids in this country, right? Uh, and, like, there is so many kids who have such great need, and it, 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 it makes no sense to me when folks who are doing the same work uh, compete. Um, and, and that's true of not only like public charter schools, but that's also true of traditional public schools. Like we are all in this together. And when, when, the, when the story is written, those who try to divide us, what's going to be said is only that they stood in the way of kids getting a better education, right? They're not going to say, well, this organization was better or that. No, they're going to say all of these kids were left out because the adults couldn't get their act together. And that's the way I see it. I, I, I mean, you know, it, it goes back to what I learned. It's not, it's never the kids. It is on us.